So why is it 71 degrees? Well, if you, if you think of a triangle, and the ratio of 3 is to 1, so the rise is 3, the run is 1, that angle in there is 71 degrees. So if you plug in tan 71.6 degrees, obviously it's going to give you an answer of 3. In other words, 3 to 1. So, so if we remember our soccer, so if we remember the soccer tile rule, so sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, tan is opposite over adjacent. So opposite over adjacent. So hang on. The opposite side is the rise, and the adjacent side is the run. So it is rise over run. So the tan function literally is giving you the gradient. So the tan of the angle is the gradient. So there's two ways of writing that. You can either say tan 71 degrees equals 3, or you can say inverse tan of 3 equals 71 degrees. I mean, they mean the same thing. They are the same thing. So if you're given the 3, obviously you, if you're given the 3, you start with the 3, then you need the inverse tan function to get back to the angle. So that would be the Angle. If you've got, already got the angle, you just go to tan 71 and that will give you the ratio 3.0. So you can go back and forth between the two numbers. If, obviously, if you've got the line, then you've already got the 3. So you can use this equation here. If, you've got the set, if the question says, OK, the straight line passes through 0, 4, and it's 71 degrees off the x-axis, then you have to use this function to get the, the gradient to come up with the 3 in the, in the formula. And we'll do some of those later on. We, we're given the angle and you have to calculate the equation.